uh, at Empire State Wrestling here with he making his debut tonight here at Empire State Absolutely. Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brickster, welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So tell us about your journey here. How long How long have you been in, in pro wrestling? Okay, so I've been, uh, I've been actually wrestling training for uh, about uh, about two years. Uh, I've had some injuries right. that kind of put me sidelined for a while. Right. Uh, I started up here uh, at uh, Grapplers Anonymous. Sure, sure. Kind of got my feet wet. Um, uh, as I was doing that, I had uh, some people run to me in my life that really blessed me. So uh, I started getting mentored uh, out of the ring mm -hmm. by Lex Luger. So he's kind of my dad father in the business. Oh, very nice. Um, so he's kind of been kind of guiding, helping me with the business aspect of it. Um, once I kind of realized that to wrestle and to really uh, make it something bigger mm -hmm. than uh, your your uh, your area code per se, right. I realized I had to relocate. Uh, so I moved out to Nashville, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, where I reside now, and uh, I actually been uh, getting trained by uh, the Carnies, uh, Kerry Offal, which is a huge guy yes. on the ND scene. He travels all over the country. He's been polishing me, and he's been one of the best things that came into my life. Uh, him, Kevin Koo, he's been part of yep. it, mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, a couple guys down in the south have really, really been helping me. Uh, so that's kind of where I am now, and that's kind of... Uh, where I've been working. So tell me, how much of a valuable asset has Lex Luger been to you? Huge, huge. I mean, uh, you know, he, hopefully he'll make it here tonight. Uh, if not, I'll be with him probably tomorrow morning. Um, you know, he's got a lot of obligations and such. Sure. But uh, just learning uh, from someone who's been in the business and he's seen the good, the bad, and the ugly in the yeah. business. And I think we all need to be teachable. And we all need to look to people that are uh, steps ahead of us because the only thing they have is valuable information for us. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I mean, even goodness in, in my life, I have uh, you know friend mentors, I, I have uh, marriage mm -hmm. mentors, I, mean, right. I have wrestling mentors, you know, yeah. uh, just because this world is throwing all the stuff at us and it's so polluted. So you have to make sure that you are well equipped to, uh, to take it on. Yeah, uh, so tell us about your influences growing up. I mean, if you, if you could, if you could uh, like say w the wrestler that kind of hooked you. Uh, you know, growing business. up, I, I'm a weird bird. Uh, I think we all are in the wrestling business, but, um, <laughs> but uh, I, I liked, I kind of liked it all. Uh, someone uh, who really brings to mind that kind of is something that sticks out was uh, Goldust. Uh, mm -hmm. I always got ribbed on for liking him. Uh, <laughs> a lot of friends were just like, eh, you know, but I just love the uh, theater aspect of wrestling as well, uh, which is great that I moved out to Nashville because I'm learning a lot of Memphis style, which is very important. Um, but uh, I was in plays and musicals and all that stuff growing up. So I just kind of liked the whole theatrical, uh, you know, part of wrestling. So Goldust kind of was a, a pretty big uh, influence on me. Very very nice. Well, welcome to well welcome to Empire State Wrestling. Welcome welcome to Buffalo, and uh, and best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.